Hey everybody, um, in this video we're going to be looking at Israel moment number 11, number, sorry, 12. The Jews are enemies. The Jews are our enemies. Romans 11.28. And what Romans 11.28 says is, As concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes, but as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sakes. Let's have a look. Hello, this is Pastor Stephen Anderson from Faithful Word Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. A lot of those who believe that the Jews are still God's chosen people or that the physical nation of Israel over in the Middle East represents God's people, they'll, they'll take you to Romans chapter 11 to try to prove that. And one of the verses that they'll use is verse 28 where the Bible reads, As concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes, but as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sakes, for the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. And they'll see, see right there, according to that, you know, they're still God's chosen people. But let's look at that a little more carefully. If these people are the people of God, then why would God call them our enemies? Notice the first thing he says there in verse 28. As concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes. Now, people will tell you today, oh, the Jews are our friends. The Jews are our allies. We're Judeo-Christian, or Israel's a great ally. But hold on a second. What does the Bible say? The Bible says in verse 28, as concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes. So if I said today, well, the Jews are my enemies, people would freak out today. But isn't that what the Bible just said in, in Romans 11:28? But listen to the rest of the verse. It says, but as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sakes. Now, what does it mean to be beloved? Just take the B off the beginning. It means to be loved. That's what beloved means, to be loved. I just want to comment here. Um, first of all, think about why why is he still making these videos? He's talking about the Jews, but then he'll he'll say in other videos that the Jews are not real Jews because long long time ago they intermixed with Gentiles and you know they've mixed up so much that there's no longer a such thing as Jews anymore because their their blood's all mixed together and who can tell who's a Jew? I don't know if somebody's a Jew. I, don't, you know, I can't tell. I probably take a blood test, and I'm probably part Jew. So, what? He's he's contradicting himself. He's talking about he loves the Jews. Who's he talking about? The the fake so-called Jews. How does he even know who he loves if he doesn't know who's a Jew? Um, secondly, um, you'll watch now is the point of verse 28 here. It says, "As touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sakes." The reason that the Jews are beloved is for the Father's sakes. And why? Are, and who are they beloved by? God. This is not talking about you having a brotherly love toward your fellow man or loving your enemies like Jesus said. This is talking about God's love toward people and particularly here, God's love toward the Jews for the Father's sakes. Why would he love the Jews for the Father's sakes? Well, if you look in Romans chapter 9, verses 3 to 5, it says here, uh, For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh, okay, Jews according to the flesh, who are Israelites. So Paul is calling Jews Israelites, where Steve says they're not Jews, they're fake Jews. The Bible says that they're Jews. Uh, to whom pertaineth, notice the present tense there, to whom pertaineth, not pertained. It's not past tense. It's present tense. Pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants. So the covenants were to the Jews. That's who it pertains to. Okay? And the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises. The promises pertain to them still. Pertaineth, present tense. Why? Whose are the fathers? Because the promises were made to the fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And that's why... Uh, I'll just finish the verse here. And of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came, who is over all God, blessed forever. Amen. So that is why that they are they are beloved by God. Because God made promises to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that he was going to give them a piece of real estate in the Middle East and that that was an everlasting covenant according to Psalm 105, I think around verses 9 and 10, 10 and 11, somewhere around there. And that's why they're beloved touching the election. The nation of Israel is elect. The body of Christ is elect. And that's who God's dealing with right now, the body of Christ. The nation of Israel, 
is in their land, as God said they would be, in unbelief in Ezekiel 36. We'll look at that maybe in, in another video. Um, but you can look at that if you want. Uh, Ezekiel 36, verses 21 to 38, talks about God bringing them into the land, not, not for their sakes, but for uh, his name's sake, I think it is. Um, so he brings them into the land first, then he cleanses them and gives them a new heart and puts a new spirit within them after he brings them into the land, which is contrary to what he thinks. He thinks you should be saved, and then you get to go in the land if you're so-called God's people. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible says that he would bring them into the land, then cleanse them. Okay, so let's just finish the video here, and you'll watch. You'll see how he skips all around and doesn't really talk about them being beloved for the Father's sakes. He just talks about other kinds of love. So are the Jews today, are the children of Israel today loved? Are they beloved? Yes, they are. Of course they do. Now, I love the Jews today. I love the children of Israel today. God loves the children of Israel. They are beloved of God. But wait a minute. Does that make them God's people? No. Remember, he doesn't even think there's a such thing as the children of Israel. He thinks that their blood got mixed together so much that you can't even tell who's a Jew anymore. That that state over there is set up some Illuminati conspiracy state that's set up by the UN and those aren't even real Jews you can't even tell if they're real Jews over there who knows who's a Jew and who's not a Jew but here he's saying I love the Jews he doesn't even know who's a Jew he doesn't even know what he's talking about he doesn't know what he believes oh it doesn't does that mean they're not our enemies no it doesn't see the Bible is real clear here they are enemies of the gospel of Jesus Christ that's far from being God's people or a holy nation or God's chosen people no, he said they're enemies <coughs> of the gospel of Jesus Christ, but they're beloved for the Father's sake. So here's my attitude toward the Jews today. I love them, but I consider them enemies of the gospel. I love them, but they're an enemy. You say, well, that doesn't make any sense. Well, doesn't the Bible say love your enemies? Jesus said love your enemies. He says the Jews are enemies of the gospel, but we should still love them. We shouldn't hate Jews, but we shouldn't lie and say that they're God's chosen people when they're not. So again, people are just looking at this verse and they're just taking the part that they want to see. Oh, they're beloved for the Father's sake. No one's arguing with that. We all know that God loves them. God wants them saved. Uh, I think I'll stop the video at this point, but you see that he didn't deal at all with why God loves them. Not because he wants them saved. He does want them saved. But they're loved for the Father's sakes because of the promises outstanding that still pertaineth to them that will be made good on in, in uh, at the second advent at the, at the beginning of the millennium so there you go uh, he didn't deal at all with the verse though he pretended to um, so I think that's it for this video uh, as always feel free to stick your comments down in the bottom and uh, anybody's comments are welcome if you're gonna deal with the verses if you're just gonna post garbage then I'll just block you um, that's it uh, it doesn't it's not that I, I you know I don't I can't take criticism, but um, deal with the verses. Don't just come on here and uh, post nonsense. Um, deal with the verses. That's what these videos are about. I want to discuss the Bible. I want to discuss his position. And if you've got other verses that show that uh, he's right, and uh, you need to explain and deal with the verses that I'm giving in the videos. So that's it. Have a good night. See you next time.